All right, our next guests both survived an airline nightmare. Here's what happened. United Airlines mistakenly shipped Kara Swindle's 10-year-old German shepherd named Ergo to the wrong destination. Actually, to the wrong country, all right? The family flew out of Portland, Oregon. They expected to reunite with their dog in Kansas City, Missouri. All right, it was about a 1,500-mile trip, no joke. But when the Swindle family went to retrieve their dog, they discovered that Ergo was on his way to Japan. United Airlines flew their dog from Japan back to Wichita, Kansas, first class, by the way, to reunite with Kara and the rest of the family. A total trip of nearly 13,000 miles, more than halfway around the world. But they are reunited, they're together, the dog is okay, and they join us now. And there they are. I see that he, it's good that he's not too nervous about the TV appearance. He's laying down. He's okay. Yes, he's... We'll say the panting is about heat and not anxiety. Fair point? Yes. <laughs> All right. So we're joking around, but this was no joke when it first happened. How is he doing? How is everybody with what happened? You know, he seems to be doing okay right now. He's a little restless. So we're hoping once we get him home, he can just start relaxing and get back to his normal routine. But other than that, Everyone seems to be doing okay so far. All right, now I know the, the pet deal well. We have two dogs, I get the traveling protocols. Did he need meds to travel or did he have meds with him just because of his age and his ear infection? No, he did not have meds with him because he was only supposed to be traveling the one day uh -huh. and only a few hours. So I had the meds with me, unfortunately. So he went about three days without meds. Oh. All right, so take us back to the moment. You get there, you're looking for your dog. What happens? Um, so they brought me back into their warehouse where they hold the kennels. And I saw his kennel, I called his name, and up popped this Great Dane instead. And it's just, it's been a whirlwind of a trip already. So it was just instant tears. I, I didn't even know what to think. I was just so worried about where my dog was instead. Oh, how long did it take you to far, how long did it take them to tell you where your dog actually was? So I went to pick him up about 6.30 on Tuesday, and we didn't find out until the next morning, about 2.30 a.m., oh. that he did touch down in Japan. So that they had were, to be... they weren't 100% sure that's where he was. Oh, my God. I mean, look, obviously, when you love a dog, it's part of the family, and not knowing for that length of time where he was, what was that like for you guys? Uh, it was it was horrible. There was no sleep that night whatsoever. We were just so worried about where he was because they couldn't confirm that he was on his way to Japan until that plane touched down. So not knowing for those, you know, however many hours was just heartbreaking. Because, I mean, he could have been, you know, so much closer, but we had no idea until that plane touched down. So that was, it was definitely very rough. Okay, so the, the airlines gets in touch with you. They say, all right, he's in Japan. How do they handle their mistake? Um, at first, they didn't. They weren't sure how to handle it. My husband had to literally call them and demand what needed to be done because they were just, they were in shock still of what had happened, and they didn't even know how to get him back. We told them that there was absolutely no way he was to go in cargo again. So they had to figure out how to actually get him here without being in cargo. And that was what took the longest, is how do we get him back doing what they need us to do? So that was, it was definitely a rough day trying to figure out how to get right. him back the correct way. But why was it rough? I mean, this was totally on them. So why would it have required any kind of negotiation or, you know, they didn't just immediately jump on the grenade and say, holy cow, this was terrible what we did. Uh, we'll get him back. We'll do it first class. That wasn't their immediate response? Not at all. No, they were just going to send him back cargo on the next plane, whenever that was. And we told them, absolutely not. You need to be doing this our way now. And he is to be flying in the cabin. And honestly, we don't care how it happens. You just need to get it done. And unfortunately, he wasn't able to fly in the cabin for some logistical reason. So that was another hours and hours of figuring out how to get him back our way and not just how they wanted to. So finally, after fighting with them for a day, 
they said, we will just do whatever we need to do. And they put him on United's corporate jet instead. Really? Just to get him back so much faster. All right, so that's yes. a little bit of something, but it's not enough. What have they offered you so far because of the uh, infliction of emotional distress on your family in dealing with this? You know, we haven't talked too much about that yet. We were just so worried about getting him back. So now that he's back and we can all calm down, and once my husband gets back from his work trip, we can actually start talking about what is to be done next. Are you going to sue? Will you ever fly United again? I will definitely never fly United again. I don't know exactly what we're going to do yet, so I I'm not 100% sure there. He's okay, but this is that was definitely a not. terrible <laughs> nightmare. He looks great. He is a beautiful uh, yes. and really well-mannered dog. You. I love that at 10, he's still nibbling at you to keep petting him. Uh, that shows a really uh, yeah, special yeah. bond. He is a beauty. What does Ergo mean? Thank you so much. I um, you know, we don't know. He was named that when we adopted ah, him. We adopted gotcha. him when he was about four. Gotcha. So Beautiful that's what dog. He was named before. Thank God this story has a happy ending. Thank we you. all know, and I didn't make reference to it because there's no yes. reason to freak you out more, but we know what happened with that other family and their puppy on United Airlines when they put it in the overhead compartment. Um, so let us know what the United Airlines does to make good on this and what you intend to do. We'll stay on it. Thank you very much.